Yo, what's up? This is your boy Postman. You're tuned in to Post in the Diary Room. Welcome to Post in the Diary Room. And as you may know, every day is a good day to get a delivery from the Postman. And of course, if this is your very first time tuning in, please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary to engage with the content, and most importantly, enjoy the review. Bentley Hampon rapper Nino Fresco has officially put out his brand new project and its title Fly from a Greaser, which obviously features the likes of Kime, Fence, Kali G, Senselo, Ivy League, just to name a few. It is basically star started with emerging talent. Now, the very first time I came across Nino Fresco was obviously when he did the song with the lingo, which obviously featured Uyi Tho back, I think, in 2023. Nino has often expressed that the cowboy hat that he is always wearing is a representation of where he comes from. Because you may remember that this guy is from Bethlehem, and I think Bethlehem is somewhere in the free state, and it has a lot of mountains and meadows, and it's just a lot of great scenery out there. But also, it is also seen on the cover of his previous project title, Sonics Echoed by the Heart of the Dread, where the cowboy hat is evident out there and it's still seen pretty much. Orchestrations kick us off on the song Pile, a song where he slightly raps over these congested horns, talking about or referring to himself as a flower that concrete. Essentially, this is a song where he talks about his lifelong journey as well as the obstacles that he overcame. Then the beat drops. Nino Fresco channels his inner Kendrick Lamar, especially when that high pitched voice he's came on, laced with backings. I thought on this one he was gliding, I was gliding very much was lighting too hard for my liking and it's quite enjoyable but who has an interesting build as well as production elements that do come on as the song progresses but on this one he is just talking or addressing the people from the township who just lay around and gossip and have opinions or share opinions on situations that they don't have full knowledge of the hook on the song is worth a million very relatable as well to the ordinary south african because we all know people who yeah how do they say it in english on Cassie Girl, Nino interpolates the song American Boy by Estelle and Kanye West. You can even hear it on the delivery that he had, especially on the first song. It's quite similar to the one that Kanye West had on the song American Boy. But, I mean, how do I even explain interpolation to you guys? I think it, to, something to, to interpolate is to like basically, um, to interpolate is to like summarize something or paraphrase, yes, is to paraphrase something using your own words, but you're not doing like you, yeah, you're basically paraphrasing. I, I don't know how to put it, yeah, but it's just that, it's just paraphrasing. The beat actually brings forth feelings of nostalgia because when I was listening to the song, I actually wondered where I've heard this song before because I felt like that beat is something something that I've heard before and it's even if maybe he did it or even if they didn't sample it or whatnot but to me definitely did sound like something that I've heard before this is a really special song because Nino also mentions why he wrote a song like a seagull and according to him he wrote the song for days when he gets lost to remind him of what he found today the contributions by Kime played a pivotal role towards ensuring that the song gets a great send-off because I mean her contributions were just mellow and easy on the ear and they just came on just before the song ends and wow man she just played a role towards ensuring that this song is a definite vibe or she contributed to towards making this song a definite vibe activist brings on this gear two approach where all you hear is these guitar strings that are piercing or grating and this joint is really like one for the mosh pit this is a mosh pit joint basically but he also took it upon himself to actually open up about the fact that in some days would just wake up with his failures haunting him making this a very colorful joint but yet a very deep one because of its underlying meaning as well as that on really nino gets into his a suit to bag and like Nas did on the song The Pressure where he said I made it to you all cause said that we made it Nino gives his own version and says you ain't popping uh, 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 popping with your friends so he's basically saying you ain't popping until you popping with your friends now however the song sheds light into passing the baton on as well as the downside of romanticizing trauma as a black people while on the song changes Nino gives us a brief understanding of his current state of mind we have a full-blown rock inspired song in real life and this is a song where Nino Fresco lets us into how he never used to be seen but now things have changed and he's getting love in real time but this is a song that puts him at the center stage of it all as he showcases his musicality and range speaking of which water bender is a song about his fashion taste it's a song about him telling us that he and he's a drip god he can dress fairly well he had a cool cadence out there which was not really surprising to me because he is a rapper i expect that from him but he did kind of lose me when he started saying things like 
Yeah, nah, he's now out of the village and he'll never go through a drought again. Yes, which is true, but in the context of what the song is about, I don't know how that applies. For me, it would be interesting to see what he does with the music video of this specific song. And also, that's if he decides to release a music video for this song. But I do think this is a song that has a lot of music video worthy potential. Sensitive is the most vulnerable cut on this project. What actually shocked me was how it also remained really, really close to all the songs that you've heard during the course of the project like every song that came before that one is really close to what sensitive is in what sense i think the production elements that came on actually help heighten the story but also most importantly the production elements also play as a form of background noise as he tells us about his life story he shed light into the fact that some things was just too deep to rap about but also some of the things that he went into was the fact that he's contemplated suicide we also spoke about the negative influences that exist in the hood as well as the fact that he feels like the, the streams don't really reflect his efforts so sometimes he used to feel like he was not him and he used to question himself a lot in that regard but yeah this is a really deep song I, I enjoyed this song so much the project reaches its climax with this song and as it draws to an end it reminded me of Stevie Wonder's contribution on the song Stop Trying to Be God because I thought there was just so much to draw from the song sensitive just at the end the cowboy element comes to life with the song Giddy Up and the phrase Giddy Up up refers to a command that cowboys use when they want their horses to run faster. Now, Nino Fresco takes it upon himself to encourage his listeners to keep on moving forward. He uses his personal experiences to actually give his motivation some oomph and some life. To be fair, not much can be said about Rosebank, but my highlight of that specific song was obviously that beat. Yeah, that beat was super, super, super hard. Faith is a beautiful song because it has notable vocal involvements from the likes of Carly G as well as Saint Cielo. The song has Nino Fresco telling us about his time in Johannesburg and as well as the fakeness everyone complains about in the entertainment industry. He's rapping, he's cutting in, he's going crazy on this one, but he also makes it clear that this is his life and he's not in Johannesburg to play. The project ends with the song Soul and all I could hear was the lock drum, the hand drum and harmonizing as well as the that indicated to me that this is a very spiritual joint but also importantly besides the song being a very spiritual song Nino Fresco himself is very really pleased with his life right now he's very pleased with the way he is he's really content and that's the general feeling that I got with this song but also was quite impressed by the consistent contributions by Kimi I thought she was really fantastic throughout this project particularly on this one because she genuinely made this song feel like an outro this project is quite theatrical it's well packaged and well balanced with dark and bright moments i thought there was a lot of sonic brilliance being showcased on this specific project the production is also very clean and for the first time in a while i don't have any problems with the production on a project the project has a country like soundscape as well as textures that you hear on each song on this project which played a role towards ensuring that this project is indeed a sonic master class my favorite joint is batu because i don't like abanda batani and Zabandu, and this is definitely a song that i would play for especially that hook I might get sued for this but this project may have elevated the bar in his hip hop to a whole new level Nino Fresco's Fly From A Grease gets a 9 out of 10 from me post in the diary please kindly like share subscribe comment do whatever is necessary to engage with the content and most importantly I will see you on the next one